I have never played RuneScape until today. It's time to start my very first cozy RuneScape adventure. Last time I did some agility at the gnome stronghold, some exploring, and I met death. I had fun with agility last time, and since I'm level 10 now, I can try the next agility course, which is the rooftops of Draenor. I'm walking on all sorts of tight ropes and climbing all over the roofs. The levels come pretty fast and it feels really fun because of that, but I know that won't always be the case with agility. I wonder what these people think of me just trampling all over their roof. After I get to level 20, I feel a bit bad for all the stamping around, so I go inside to talk to some of the residents. This lady said she's just moved in, which must feel pretty bad that you bought a house under a parkour course. This guy is begging me for help to get rid of a vampire, but my combat level is too low, so I'll need to come back later to help him out. This just makes me realize how low my combat is, so it inspires me to train some range. But then when I get to the bank and start getting my range equipment out, I realize that I wanted to do more fletching, so I plan to do that first, which means I need to mine first so I can make arrowheads. My trains of thought while playing this game just make me feel insane. My brain feels like it's going in circles with all the prerequisites. Back with my good old friend the mining tutor, just alternating mining an inventory of copper then an inventory of tin. This mining pit definitely is big enough for the two of us, but this person is just not having it. Cook the bars. Hammer the arrowheads. I totally miss this person asking to trade with me, but I don't know, maybe they were trying to scam me or something? Going back to the bank, I see this old man calling to me, and he asks me to solve a maze. I love mazes, so I'm hyped for that. Yay! I got some steel arrows, feathers, and death runes. That's probably not an amazing prize, but it seems okay. I wonder what spells you can do with death runes. Now I finally have a lot of arrows so I can do range. Back to the old goblin house to break and enter and commit crimes against the goblins.
After doing that for a while, I really didn't know what to do next, so I looked at doing some fishing. I'm level 7 and I wanted to see where I could go to fish. It looks like my options are shrimp, karambwanji, and sardines. Because I haven't completed below ice mountain, so I can't do the guppies. I have no idea where the sardines are, but I see Karambwanji on this island here, so I thought it might be a fun idea to go there and fish. You're probably thinking this already, but um, spoilers, this was not a very good idea. I see that I can take a ship to Brimhaven from Remington, so I head there with my fishing net and my trusty axe. And also my sword, in case I see a goblin that looks fun to kill along the way. I forget to bring money for the boat, because I'm a forgetful person, but I'm like, okay, no problem, there's a bank right there. Except I'm not allowed in this bank. Having to go all the way up to Falador to get some money makes me happy that I at least did some agility. When I finally get to Brimhaven, I realize I have to walk kind of a lot to get where I want to go because it's across this river. That doesn't phase me though, I'm ready for an adventure and a walk. As I'm walking through the jungle, I see a swarm of bugs and I think nothing of it. But then, it comes towards me and does a decent amount of damage. I'm still thinking I might be able to run past them, but then I see how many more swarms there are and start running away. I do not want a repeat of Wolf Mountain. I make it out with 6 HP and that's a wrap on my fishing adventure. In the end, I basically just ran around for an hour doing absolutely nothing. When I told my partner about this later, he was so confused why I would even try going there, and in hindsight, that is very fair. I just wanted to see some new scenery, but I'm so weak that a swarm of jungle mosquitoes or something just about killed me. At least being killed by wolves feels a bit more respectable. The one upside is I did get some new music tracks from this adventure. I think it's time for another quest. I wanted to do Below Ice Mountain, but I guess I don't have enough quest points for it, so I'm doing Demon Slayer. I get all geared up like a knight and then head to Varrock, where I have to talk to this fortune teller. She tells me my future, where she sees me holding a cool sword, but then the demon Delrith comes into the vision. Apparently this guy Wally killed him 150 years ago using a sword called Silverlight and an incantation. And now I need to find Silverlight and become the next Wally. I like Wally, he seems nice. Oh, so apparently evil sorcerers are summoning the demon. I'm not sure what they'd have to gain from that if the demon just destroys the city, but some people just want to be evil, I guess. I'm supposed to go find the special sword, which one of the knights has, but while I'm standing around the square trying to figure out where to go, Romeo just won't leave me alone. This guy doesn't even know what Juliet looks like. I'm really getting himbo vibes here. I'll help him with that later. I'm a bit tied up trying to save this entire town. Oh my god, Romeo, go away. I was just trying to AFK for a second. This guy's chasing me! I end up talking to Wally's descendant, Sir Pryson, 
which I guess is supposed to be surprising. And he says the sword is in a box with three different locks on it because it's so powerful. And the keys are owned by three different people. First, I go up to find Captain Rovin, who gives me the first key, basically because he thinks Surprisin is stupid, and he'd rather I have the sword than that guy. Surprisin dropped his key in a drain, so maybe the captain is right to think he's a little stupid. I have to fill a bucket and pour it in the drain so the key washes up in the sewer at the other end. The sewer is full of big rats and, worryingly, a lot of bones. But I do find the second key here. I also take a minute to kill some rats because why not? My combat level is too low for this quest I think, so I could use the experience. Now I head to the wizard tower for the last key, where I talk to wizard Trayborn. He needs 25 bones to do a ritual to unseal his key. If he wanted, I'm sure he could just go to the sewer and get those. As you may know, I bury all my bones, so I don't have any in the bank but I can kill chickens and cows for a while to get some more XP and some bones at the same time. This guy has a cat! Alright, I'm back at the wizard tower and ready for a bone ritual. A wardrobe pops up from the ground and reveals the third key. This wizard guy is pretty cool, but I don't know why he needed bones for that. I really like the little dance I do when I get the sword. Now I can kill the evil demon. Ooh, a spooky ritual dance. I want to go kill the demon, but every time I click on him, nothing happens, and the wizards keep hitting me. I end up trying to kill the wizards, but I didn't bring any food with me, and I don't think I can kill all of them without dying, so I run back quickly for supplies. Hopefully the demon doesn't destroy the town while I'm gone. I'm back to kill the demon with a backpack full of shrimp. After killing all the wizards, I just keep running around, chasing the demon, and doing nothing until I finally try right-clicking on him, and he dies instantly. Apparently there's a setting that prevents you from left-click attacking enemies that are a lot higher level than you, and I'm just a bit stupid that I didn't try right-clicking earlier. Quest complete. <laughs> that 
that's all I have for today's episode. By the way, I have a lot more footage that I haven't shown in a video yet, and as I continue to play, I'm getting more and more. I'm wondering if I should pick up the pace a bit in these videos? I don't want to ruin the slow and cozy vibe, so let me know what you guys think. Next time, I'll be helping out Romeo and trying the agility course in the desert area. Thanks for watching. Bye.